Mm. Hello and welcome back to the Knights of the Smith Dinner Table actual play podcast and video of our Legend of the Ramble House Saints. Now, when last we left our Valiant Heroes, they were in a pretty hairy situation. Um, Bash has been wounded. He no longer has the use of his right arm. While Spike was very close to death, she managed to be saved by Thid. Thid is still in good shape, as is the uh, human barbarian who joined the fray. And uh, there's also a half-orc wearing the colors of Trunal, who came into the fray late. Now, I gotta ask, Kristen. Yep. How likely did you think it was that you were going to die? Uh, based on my history of rolling, like 99%. <laughs> but you have a really good husband that saved your life. Yeah, no problem. Exactly. <clears throat> mm. How about you, Mike? No fear. Because you were, you were damn close, too. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just the walking dead right now. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> All right. Well, as I said at the end of uh, last session, you guys are now standing over the dead. And there's a couple of new folks here. Take it away. Um, ignoring the new folks, I'm walking right up to Thid. Where's Thid? Bash, I think he's fine. I just need probably some ice for his head. I, I fix this. And I point at my arm. Uh, and Thid will look at him and go, no. <laughs> just, no. Just blinking at him like... Thid will go back to tending to the bartender. Uh, I just can't so no looks over at Spike yeah uh, that's uh, oh no he just walks away from you aww <laughs> goes and picks up his I just had a shrug cause I can't really blame him goes and picks up his shield Gets the Warhammer situated where you could grab it if need be. Grabs uh, his fallen hammer. Thid's going to drag the barkeep back behind the bar and look for any sort of ice or something cold to put on his head. Okay. Um, you're able to get a cool rag on his head. All right, and, I'll just kind of uh, like prop him up against one of the kegs there. Okay. You gonna use healing to treat him? The healing uh, skill? Uh, yeah, I'll just use the skill. Yeah, so I'll be working on that during all of this. All right, so you are able to wake him up. Hey, hey, bud, bud, hey! There's a real rough crowd tonight. We took care of it. He shakes his head and he looks up. And says, oh. Oh, where are those, those jerks from Freedom Town? Uh, were they all those thug guys and yeah, know, trying they... to help with those feet and motion to the room? Wow. He's looking around and he sees that you guys just laid waste to the, uh, the gang of thugs. You care to spare a few ales for us? I've got a oh. uh, got a headache, and a few of us are a little wore out. Absolutely. I mean, if you guys want a drink, you are more than welcome to one. As soon as and he says it, Thid will just start grabbing mugs and sloshing them across the bar. He's he's hold on, hold on, and he reaches under the counter. They didn't find these, and he taps on a section, and you hear something open up, and he pulls out what appear to be four potions. Take these. Uh, what, what are they? These two are, are potion, healing potions that can also remove disease 
And these two are also healing potions, but they can neutralize poison as well. And I will throw those items into your treasure. Oh, well, well, thank you, but that's not ale. They'll still be useful. They don't go well, back to the sliding mugs across the bar. While that's going on, I look to Navarre and thanks for the help, buddy. We got more work to do, though. Uh, don't sweat it. You're those guys uh, who were in True Now a while ago, right? Yeah, we're, we're the ones who solved the murder of Roderick, because, well, he didn't kill himself. We haven't technically solved it, but we came to a pretty strong conclusion. Oh, what conclusion you got? That it he didn't kill himself. Hmm. Fid, we're not drinking. It's, we got work to do. Okay. Fid throws back a mug. And as um, they're kind of in there chattering around, I'm outside kind of a little bit labor breathing, trying to like calm my rage a little bit and calm down. Okay. And I will start heading in. And, and if you guys want to search her, all the other guys just had great swords and leather armor. She actually has treasure on her, so you can double click on her and claim what you'd like. And as I'm walking in, I'm kind of using my hand to kind of like brush you know, wipe the blood off my face and kind of make it so it's kind of stopped dripping. And I'll just continue up to the bar and push two of the stools together and kind of sit on them. Uh, the double click thing doesn't work. Well, shoot. I just tested it earlier and it worked great. Oh, I know why. Hold on. Because I forgot to change her back to... Do, do, do. Try now. Lack permission to update actor. Yeah. Oh, damn it. So tell us what we've looted. Try now. Hey, it popped up. Oh, hey, look. She's got a great axe, a leather tunic or jacket, and leggings. Nothing I care to grab. Nothing important to me. As I'm kind of sitting there, I'll kind of motion to the barkeep for something to drink. He slides the extra one. mug. <laughs> it's just back there bartending. I'm just going to kind of lean forward and take a couple sips out and like have a party in here. My arm's not working and we could use a strong hand like yours. Come with us. This is my strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> I say I usually keep my strong hand of myself, <clears throat> but I mean... A little bit short for my taste. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Can I pause? Sounds like too much of a party. At least Can you I have a leg up on the competition. <laughs> Could I have used my my uh, Benny to get power points back? I already did it for you. Oh, you are something else, James. You know. Yeah, he's being really nice today. I'm really worried. Because I don't that have to be mean with this adventure. <laughs> that's that's, that's mean enough. Okay. <laughs> and I'll just look back at the barkeep. When this is all over, drinks are on you. He nods and says, uh, sh "Should I stay here or or what?" Oh, uh, get get to the barricade, the south tower. I think that's what it was, right? Uh, the hold on, I wrote gate. the name. I wrote the name down somewhere. It was the inner gate, right? It's been a couple. Um, that mean you go to like the church or something? 
As well, because this guy's speaking to you. Um, you're sending him to Uptown? Yes. Okay. All right. So, as he starts running for Uptown, I'm going to switch maps here. So, so Bash, um, have you ever been left-handed before? I'm, I'm ambidextrous. I believe they call it the stranger. Oh, well, I just, I just wanted to know that, like, if you start feeling more emotional or, or a little more creative and have a little more imagination, that's just your brain activating on that side because now your left hand's dominant, so... Don't start crying, please. All right. As the barkeep makes his run back towards um, the upper quarter. I can't remember the name of the quarter. The one that's at the top of the plateau. Um, you guys all get notice checks as you step outside. Uh, do we need to do any healing, I guess, before we stepped outside? Was that a... Uh, everybody healed up, healing. I think. Okay. Oh, no. I was not healed up at all. Nope, I've still got a wound, too. Okay, did we want to do that prior to coming out? I'll just yep. do it with powers, because... You, you were too busy slinging drinks. Um, is it... I don't, I don't know the timeline here. How far until our fatigue's step down um we still got a minute or i would say your fatigue at this point has probably come off and it's what it comes down one every one. hour yep so okay. you've stepped down one okay so on the way here then Sid will start um throwing heels out before an hour passes. So wanna, this one is, do you want to use your power points or do you want her to use the wand and its charges? Um sure she can do it. Alright, so make a faith roll. Mm -hmm. Fancy. And that is not gonna succeed. Were you fatigued three, or were you only fatigued two? Two, and her fatigue should oh, be down. There one. you go. Who were you healing first? <laughs> Myself. All right. Myself. So you are no longer wounded. Okay. You go down to I'll six do, charges. Um, bash next. Another faith check. I can. There we go. I am fully healed. And then I'll do our new friend here. And our protection has worn off at this point. Yep. Oh. Mm. I'll just. Try it again okay. with another. With another Benny? No. Okay. Use another charge. There we go. All right. So that leaves you with three charges on that wand. Did you not heal yourself, Spike Lee? <clears throat> she did. I did. Right. But she's still showing oh. she's taking oh. a negative one for wounds. So no, she did. She she made the check, there but didn't go. actually heal herself. All right. Uh, okay. It looks like I have to do that manually too. Yeah, I got it's you. real easy. Just open up your character sheet and change your wound. Okay. But you said notice checks. Yep, notice checks. Wow.
you got to click on the button in the chat box. Ben. Okay, I was just trying to find the damn button in the all these. It chats. literally says roll. Yep. Yeah, it's just yeah, when the chats pop up, it pushes it. All yep, right. Yep. So oh. seven five three. Okay, so everybody but Kratos. You guys hear a uh, pretty loud ruckus. Oh, I just realized I need to change this up. So across the way, this building here, you hear a pretty loud ruckus. You see a pile of uh, gear in crates right outside. And you can see, it looks like somebody's inside trying to ransack the place. Well, let's go. All right. Give me just a moment. Go ahead and move your tokens over to there. Uh, I never had a map pop up. Really? Yeah, I had to refresh. Oh, yeah, I had to refresh as well. Oh, yeah, you try refreshing. What did we hear inside the house, sorry? Lots of racket. I'm ransacking it. Oh, I should probably refresh because they're all invisible to me. I like it. Does that give us a surprise round? There we go. Okay, there I go. All right, so I see them all moving forward, so we'll just go forward one pace worth. Yep, looks like everyone else has turned invisible. You may have to refresh. Let me get everybody up close because you're all going to the same house. Who went and s How did Bash get inside? I have no idea. Because <laughs> that's its own map inside. I was wondering that myself because I was like, I just went to the door, but I don't understand what I'm seeing. I'm just going to wait until somebody tells me what's going on. Time traveler. All right. So as you guys approach, let me pull everybody onto the map. I assume that Bash and Kratos are taking up front. I let the bossy one be in front of me. All right. As you approach this home, uh, definitely, I apologize. Definitely looks like the residents have fled to safety. Um, hold on a second. Why is... There we go. Um, and as you guys are looking in Bash... You can see what appears to be some orcs in there ransacking the place. Over here, there is a pile of their ill-gotten goods, which you guys could probably check out either before or after you go in. Uh, Bash is going in. Is, is there no like light here? Is this a house? This is a house, and... Okay. Oh, I forgot to add the light from the fires. Okay, I was, like, sitting here like, it's super dark in here. Wait, the town is on fire? Yeah, yeah the town is on fire. It's currently yeah. under siege. Hmm. Is it not? Oh, that's why. All right. <clears throat> so there's the light from outside where the town, it, where the trees are on fire. You guys can kind of see inside. 
But those of you who don't have dark vision are going to need some sort of light. Um, are you guys going to try and sneak in? You're going to check the crate of goods over here first. Um, uh, Bash will go over towards the crate of goods. Bash? You mean Thid? Or not Thid. I meant Thid. Like, uh, I get it when James does it because we're both <laughs> dwarves and he's. I was, just, you know. I was just talking about. He said Bash was going in. That was the last thing I heard. But he just really wants to do a notice check down, like, the outside here. Okay. And then he'll check the. Um, See if there's anything usable for him. Notice. I feel like I want to go ahead and get my torch out and light it. I'm walking right in. All right. Hold on just a moment here. So as she lights up her torch, Thid walks over and takes a look down that way. And Bash goes right into the place. And Bash, as you go in, uh, hold on just a moment. Kratos, what are you going to do? You see Bash uh -huh. walking right in. Yep, cowabong it is. How about Narvar? Can't, can't see anything, but... Well, I'll follow them in, I guess. Okay. All right. As you guys walk in, let me add you five. But not that. Two. The encounter tracker. And we'll begin. As you guys catch these orcs, since Bash was making uh, no effort to be quiet and just walks right in, it immediately starts off with Kratos' turn, who got the Black Joker. Oh, man. Well, it's uh, currently uh, pretty dark in here. Indeed it is. So, you know what? We're going to wait it out till somebody comes to fight me. So, holding? Yep. All right. That takes us to Narvar. All who right. does have dark vision. Yep. And I'll come take a look here. What's inside? Yeah, you might need to hit space over me and then drag over. Oh, uh, space is what does it? Yep. yep. All right. Oh, don't I have dark vision? You do. You should be able to see in black and white. Okay, maybe I just need to move up another space then to see things. Oh, so, okay, these things here are the orcs. Yeah. Okay. Looked like dragons or something. All right. And I'll just say... Not seeing the dragon, but okay. Okay. And this is a sword attack. Alright. Alright, that looks like a hit. but it does not damage them. Okay. Hmm. Well, these guys are tough then. Let's try again. Bash, why are you still shaken? I don't know. Oh, You're, that's a bit you, better. Did you hit enter on something? Because that will sometimes do it. Might have. All right. So after you spend a Benny, you cause a wound to the guy, and uh, he drops to the ground. And I'll just add, oh, hi. End of my turn. All right. That takes us to Bash. Oh, let's see. One. Okay. Yep. Part of the building has caved in, so it's making it difficult terrain. In a few oh, days. that's fine. I'm just walking right up to this guy, and I'm going to smack him with the shield twice. Let me see if I can make this easier on you. Oh, no, this is plenty easy. I just hit fighting. That's, 
It's not hard at all. The targeting still works. Everything else works just fine. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck this orc. <laughs> Maybe you should have been using the shield this whole time. Man. <laughs> All right, oh. so you just completely cave that orc's skull in with your shield. <laughs> and uh, that takes it to the orc's turn. And which group is this? All right, <clears throat> this guy, here's the ruckus, comes running out. Maybe if it moves. There we go. And he's going to swing his falchion at, at uh, Bash. Bash has no cover. He's not affected by the darkness in here. And he hits... And he will be causing a wound. Uh, I will try to soak that. As yep, soon as it catches up to me. There we go. And Thid manages to roll with the hit. Bash. <laughs> yep, there I go again. <laughs> All right, so the next guy here. He's one. He has a two. name. It isn't Three. Thid. He is swinging his. Also wild attacking because these guys are in. Come on. These guys are in a frenzy. They're having a good raid so far. That is going to be a hit with a raise. For another wound. Good thing Bash is tough. Good thing Bash just That's doesn't seem to care anymore about his. <laughs> <laughs> and Bash manages to soak it again. It's going to take more than that from you pig faced bastards to take me down, even with one arm. Come on, stop lagging. All right, so that guy rushes up to there. He comes up to there. And this guy. Rushes up to there. And before I hit next, I need to refresh. I am lagging bad tonight, and I don't understand why. Do, 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 do. Ah, here it comes. Almost loaded. All right. So that takes us to the next group of orcs. Which is going to be this guy. It's the group of orcs. It's Okay. Come on. So he comes up. One, two, three. It is seriously lagging for me still. And he's going to swing his falchion at uh, Bash. There you go. You remembered my name. <laughs> With his wild Good attack. Job. He rolls. Maybe. I see the dice on my screen. He hits. With one of the frenzy attacks. Oh, this is going to hurt. 
That caps out at four. All right, Bash. You going to try and soak that? I am. All right, so that's uh, still going to leave you. I'm going to try to re-roll that with a Benny. Okay. Uh, that still soaked a wound at least. Yep. So it would have been four. So that would take you down to three wounds, which is still incapacitated. Let's see if this it works this time. It does not. Apparently when I hit the button, it makes it translated and then the, the button breaks. Yep, let me try. There we go. Now you should be Let's able to click roll. Uh, I'm going to hold, please. Let me see if I have that. Oh, well, never mind. I um, didn't mean to click that. I hit one on my gamer mouse. Thank God that was not the vigor roll. Yep. I was going to say that, that, that doesn't look right. That did not look right. Hmm. Let's see if I could duplicate that double ones though. Oh, well, it's still a failure. And uh, Bash is lying on the ground, dying once more. Where is my incapacitation card? So that popped out. All right, I'm gonna have to do it from the roll table. Here Come we go. on, let's get rid of the left arm. I will headbutt these motherfuckers. I don't care. <laughs> All right, so that one hits you right in the guts. And your strength is reduced by a die type. Okay, I can do that. Permanently now down to a D8 in strength. All right. Then it goes to this guy. Who he sees the dwarf fall. I'm going to unmark Bash so it still gives him his turn. Or unmark him that way. There we go. Mark him that way. And this guy. I may have to restart Foundry. Here we go. He comes rushing forward towards Narvar. He's going to swing his falchion. As soon as it catches up. I see dice. I see a hit. And hits Narvar. So he brings the falchion up in an upper swing. Striking him for two wounds. Does Narvar wish to try and soak that? I'll see if I can. So click on the soak vigor roll in the chat box. Oh, I did. I'm I'm just waiting on it. Do 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 do. Oh, there it goes. Well, one wound ain't too bad. Yep. All right. And I'll take my help just for for spike goes. Okay, so after current combatant, and it goes to Crato. Is everybody lagging really bad? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm going to pause uh -huh. the video so I can restart Foundry. All right, hopefully our technical problems are done. And... Let me pop back out my combat thing. It was Kratos' turn. That is correct. And it's pretty dark in here. I hear a lot of stuff going on. I heard that dwarf kind of grunt and heard a thud. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh, kind of reach down and light my bullseye lantern hanging from my belt. 
Okay. So I kind of see what's going on. As soon as I can get things to cooperate here. All right, so 10, 5, 30. With the torch animation. All right. All right, I'm going to kind of sweep the area real quick first. It's hot second. Okay. Right now you can see that, yes, indeed, Bash is down. Remember, all, right, all you have to do is change directions to... Yep, the game is paused. Oh, my bad. All right, there is an orc there. So I'm actually going to reach and grab my pike. Okay. And let me go ahead and unequip them all so I don't accidentally click it. And we're actually going to go after this guy right here with the pike. Okay. That is a hit. You know what? I think we can do better on that. Do better indeed. Much better. And uh, he drops to the ground. All right. And then as he drops, I'm going to kind of sweep as far as I can see back to where Bash was and end my turn. Okay. All right. Spike. Alrighty. First, I'm going to walk inside. Jeez. Why, why has he always got to be so far up in there, you know? <laughs> why is this a problem? You know, if that's, I've, I've never actually heard a woman ask me that question before. I don't really have an answer for that. I apologize. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm just going to, um, I'll shoot one bolt. All right. You launch one of your magical cactus thorns. Um, wow. That is a very good shaken result. And uh, from there it moves on to the last of these orcs. So this guy... Yep, I'm still getting really bad lag. We may have to just play through the end of this encounter. Or through the end of this round. So this guy comes rushing forward to here. To there, to there. And then the next guy. Although I am glad to see that the initiative tracker is working right. Moves there to there. And you guys hear lots more orcs coming. And this guy. He gets to there. And then it is Thid's turn. All right. Um, Sid. Did Sid hear the ruckus inside? Was it loud enough to cause oh. alarm for him? Oh, yeah. It sounds like a fight. Okay. Um, I guess Sid will get to the doorway. And he sees old Bash all beat up. Good. Um... Sid will throw his last bomb of the day 
Um, at like this intersection here, I guess. Okay. What kind of negatives you gonna give me? Um, what's the range? Do, 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 do. I don't remember. I think it was. It's the same. No, three. It, it should be the same as like three six nine or three six twelve. Right. I was asking. Yeah, it's, it's three six twelve. Looks like six out. So you're right at the edge. So a minus four. Minus four. All right. Let me target these guys. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't hit minus four. Well, that would have been with the minus four, but. Oh, I can fix that. Is. Yeah, let me do that. So your target number. It's still going to be a success at least. Would have been eight effectively. And it is a success instead of a raise. So go ahead and. Oh. Um, okay, on this one, am I spending individual bennies, or what did we decide on that? So, if you just click the spend a benny, it will spend it for all of them. Yeah, it only spends one benny, but it rerolls all of them. Right, so is that what we decided on? Yep, I know we'll, we just, kind of we'll just go with what better rolls okay. has in place. Okay, clicked on a benny. It rerolled all of them, Okay. Uh, so, the same result. So one more much. time, and that's just because we had an extra mini. Cool. You upgraded to a wound and a shaken from just a shaken. Yep, yeah, so that will be the end of Sid's turn. All right. And is everybody else still having pretty bad lag? No. Yeah, I haven't had any struggles, really. Okay. I haven't noticed uh, any more now. Mine's about like usual, which you might consider bad. All right, so before I advance it, I'm going to try a refresh. So hold on just a moment. <clears throat> Not sure what's causing all my lag tonight, but it's there. You'll see a little box that pops up that'll show you okay. what difficult uh, thing it is. I see it. I was using the measuring tool, so, so I did not see it. Oh, cool. But yeah, pretty much every square of shit on it. Yep. All right, so this guy's dead. This guy's dead. And let me clear out the blast template. This guy's dead. Quite injured. All right. So, from there, it goes to round two. Right now, you guys, except for poor Bash, who at the top of this round needs to make a vigor check. Yes, sir. Show me the crit fail, because that's the way that my dice work tonight. Oh. That's a success. That is indeed a success. You stop bleeding out. Apparently, I didn't mark you as bleeding out. So you were just unconscious and with a second permanent wound. And that takes us to Kratos. All right, so we can kind of see there's people back there, so we're going to start taking our little bit of a walkabout this direction. And we'll go, we'll 
pause right here to let our light update. Yep. I may have to switch browsers. There we are. And there's a guy right there. And it doesn't seem like there's anybody else nearby, so as we're kind of walking up, we're going to switch away from the pike back to the mall. Okay, so that takes care of your two free actions. And we're going to give this guy a good old 1-4 with the mall. Oh. Uh, you know what? We got a Benny. You got lots of Bennies because you're lucky and very lucky. Yep. Uh, we got another Benny. Man, that's about like the first one. You know, we'll spend one more on it. Because <laughs> why not? Still missing. All right. All right. Well, that's uh, it for me. All right. So we're going to hold on for just a moment. I'm going to switch browsers and see if that helps. All right. Switching up to Chrome from Firefox, because sometimes Chrome works better, sometimes Firefox. Edge is the best, but that's what I record from. Is that way Sid can die because he's not <laughs> helping at all? Hey, you, you, took out, you took out a pile of them with a the bomb. Oh no. My concern was more of like the healing oh, that portion is so much better. that I was struggling at. Okay, Sid. Hi. Hi. All right. Sid sees his buddy down again. God damn. <clears throat> and he has a clear path all the way to him, at least. Except for that yeah. difficult terrain. Yeah. And so that makes that. I can go here, though, and there. Perfect. Who's to there? He's all right, buddy. I'm sorry I couldn't fix your arm. You don't have to go dying on me. And then he will try. Can I up this to help out anymore? I don't think so. So it's like the fancy upping. Greater healing plus 10. Can I restore any wound? Poison. Okay. No, won't benefit me. So this is the normal three. Oh, look at that. Oh. And uh, you take him from dying all the way down to only one wound left come on buddy you gotta you gotta get up i know you lost your arm it's gonna be hard to masturbate we'll figure it out i'll, I'll make a contraption just wake up bud just wake and up bash kind of flutters open i could do this all day <laughs> <laughs> i think finn would actually chuckle at like how big of a moron and like neanderthal he is <laughs> and he got, yep, yep, you sure could. That's for the well-timed uh, <laughs> Deadpool reference. Uh, All right, and that'll end Sid and turn. All right, Narvar. All right. Let's see here. All right. Well, I can at least get up to there, and looks like I'll have to run. So how do I run with this system? So on your character sheet, on the summary page, or the traits page, click on the D6 that is next to your pace. All right. So that adds an additional four on to your pace, but you're going to be at a minus two for everything that you do. All right. And then I guess I'll try and stab this guy around the corner. Oh, well, first you need to uh, get rid of that shaken result. Oh, right. You got last yeah. round. So go ahead and uh, roll your spirit. Uh, let's see. Where is that? Uh, oh, back to character sheet. Attributes. Um, 
spirit and I had a minus two for running, right? You, no, not on this. Okay. All right. You are no longer shaken. And you going to swing your bastard sword at somebody? Yep. Now, what kind of mod or what kind of penalties do I take for so, hitting around the corner? Go ahead and click on the fighting roll. Or click on the weapon, I'm sorry. Inventory, sword, comma, bastard. So you're going to check right. off medium cover. And then from the modifiers for better rolls at the bottom, an additional minus two for the run. All right. I'll see <clears> if this does anything. And as of right now, that is a miss. Let me look and see. Okay, yep, it did not add the run-in, so you added the run-in. That's good. <clears throat> All right, end of my turn. Okay. So we go to Spike. All righty. I'm going to move first. Um... And I guess I can see the guy in the door. I will. Yep. Um, you have cast light cover for him because of a uh, cradle. Of, uh, okay. I'll do bolt. Uh, you'll have to add the minus two on. From I better can rolls. do that. That's a hit. As the cactus thorn flies through the Yay. air, it does not damage him as it strikes right in the chest. Are you going to stand with that? Or are you going to see if you can get a little bit of extra oomph out of it? I'll try again. Oh, no, no. Standing with that? Oh, I can Benny that? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to stand with that. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay, so then it goes to, oh, wow. All right, so this guy, he can't do much of anything, so he's, he's going to stand there and wait. That takes us to that guy who also has to stand and wait. This guy, he's going to move up. This guy is the one that everybody's trying to hit. Um, all right, he is going to try and shove you. So let's do this. Oh, let me get you selected as well. So this is going to be an opposed athletics check for Kratos. All right, Kratos, you hold your ground as he tries to shove you, trying to get. And I room. just kind of laugh at him too. That goes to this guy, who to there, to there, to there, to there, and he opens that door to this guy. There. Oh, and he's got a an additional two movement from the run. All right. Next round. Spike, you were up first. That guy is still there. Alrighty. Um, I if I move closer, like adjacent um and use my scythe well, would it still just be a minus two no it would be a medium cover yeah that's stupid i'll just use my bolt okay you want to put extra points into it 
You can put an extra point and make it 3d6 damage if you hit. Sure. All right. Go ahead and something special for that. Uncheck uncheck the subtract power points because it's going to be different than what it'll do automatically. Okay. And then click roll and then we'll manage your power points afterwards. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's a hit. Beautiful. Where are the... All right. So click the uh, damage with a raise because you are doing one extra die of damage. And this time Beautiful. your bolt wrecks him. Now click on that manual PowerPoint management button. Okay. Change the five to a two and then reduce your PowerPoints by that. All right. All right, and that takes us to Bash, who is um, still prone. Two inches to stand up. <laughs> and we're going to have to run. <laughs> oh, please roll low. Oh, you did it. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. And we'll swing at this dude at a minus two. And if you look, I did add a shield bash. Oh, I forgot to equip it. There we go. <laughs> oh, hey, look. It's a shield bash for bash. Minus one, because they're orcs. And we roll. That's a miss. No, it's not. Yeah. Now it's a miss. <laughs> it's only a miss until I say it's a miss, damn it. <laughs> and that is my turn. All right. That takes us to Kratos. All right. Well, the little stocky one just rushed by. He sure did. He's feisty. You'll give him that. Yeah. Uh, oh, we'll give that to him. Give, get rid of that dude. So I will move forward into this doorway and kind of sweep the room real quick. It seems to be more of them this direction, so we are going to go after this guy right here. Alrighty. And I'll get a gang up bonus, correct? Uh, plus one. It should auto calculate it. Alright, cool. <clears throat> that it is sure a did. hit. As you bring your maul around, you send him flying through the air with a crushed chest. And he lands back there against the wall. And I'm just fucking letting out this big old belly laugh as I'm doing it. All right. Now it is this guy's turn. He's going to step in. He's looking at the two of you. He determines that the one that just knocked his friend through the air is more dangerous. And he brings his falchion around with two hands on it, swinging it with wild abandon. Uh, before he does that, um, I'm interjecting here. First I haven't first. used my... Yep. All right, go ahead and uh, take a swing at him. Because he thought the other dude was more dangerous. And he is correct in that assumption. Oh, no, no wait, you, that actually hit. hit. <laughs> Gang up bonus. <laughs> that, and as he was swinging, he became vulnerable. Fuck that guy. He drops. Worry about me, orcs. He steps forward. I'm worried about you. I think you have a concussion. <laughs> There's 74 of them. 74 concussions? He hits, causing a wound Ooh. to uh, Kratos. Is Kratos going to try and soak it? He is indeed. 
All right. So he manages to shrug the damage off. And that takes us to Narvar. All right. Looks like the fighting's moved on ahead. So see what I can see here. Taking advantage of a gang up bonus, I see. Yep. So, targety thingy on this guy. And let's see here. Inventory. You should be able to do it from your traits page or the uh, drop down HUD inventory. Okay. <clears throat> that is a hit with a raise. All right, let's roll some dice. Then. And that's going to be a shaken result. Unless you want to spend a Benny to try and re-roll it. Hmm. Twisted nail. Uh, I guess I can try it. Still just a shaken result. Well, I'll stick with that then. All right. That takes us to Thid. So it'll move up to here. See that everybody's kind of in position to do all kinds of things. So Thid will coach Bash on how to keep his weak arm in a good spot and then he will um, adjust the elbow of Kratos as he's kind of swinging wildly and try to boost trait on fighting for both of them. All right. Um, so it's one extra power point. Yep. You do that through the manual PP ma management button. Yeah, so saying it's... So what's the the normals five for that? Um, that oh, I'll take care of it here in a minute. Let me just roll this. And, it's two normally. It's two, so it would have been three total. Okay. Yep. Um, so I need to... Do I need All to right. roll twice or is it just one, one nope, roll? It's one roll. Because cool. you spent the extra power points. All right. right, so that is a raise result, and both Thid, or not Thid, both uh, Bash and Crato uh, can suddenly fight better. Yep. yep, D12 plus two for me. <laughs> All right, and then the last two orcs up there. They were starting to run out the back. You're guessing to try and get around you. But this guy comes up to here. And he is going to swing at Narvar. Oh, he may actually hit Narvar. He does with a raise. Oh, ignore that damage on Thid. All right, is Narvar going to try and soak it? Well, I've got one. Well, I've got one, Benny, left, so I'll try it. Nope. He does not. All right. Then the other orc. He's going to come back this way, and he'll step into there. And he's going to swing at Bash. And. Oh, let me untarget Nardar. He swings his falchion around and misses. He kind of stumbled a little bit on that rubble that he's standing on. That takes us to round four. Um, I'm not sure which card these guys, oh, let me 
make him the group leader. All right. Sid, you were up first, sir. Was I able to see those ones running out back? Uh, they didn't actually or run out the back door. They turned around when they realized they could get up to the fight. Okay. All righty. So. Uh, okay. Let's see. Is this guy here is still alive, correct? Yes, he is. He All is right. shaken, vulnerable, but he has uh, medium cover from you. Cover from me? Okay. Uh, then Thid, missing every attack in the last fight and kind of being upset about it, will stab out at this guy with a wild attack. <sighs> I didn't equip my spear again because I'm um, silly. Um, so let me target the guy and hold on before uh, you roll, let me make sure uh, it's doing the right thing. Good. That's what Say I was afraid what? of. Hold on. It was going to roll athletics for your fighting. There. Now it's correct. Okay. And then you said medium cover. And then wild attack is down at the bottom. We just click wild now, yeah? Yep. Well, I'm going to spend a Benny on that one. Oh, that's it. Got him. <laughs> so then I just leave wild click and I hit damage? Yep. And you shake him a second time, thus wounding him, and he goes down. Okay. Um, All right. You can still move if you wish. Um, I will take his spot. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take his spot. Do it this way. All right. As you step through. Yeah, that guy. Yep. He's going to get a swing at you. He swings wildly as well. And he is going to hit. With the raise. And cause a wound that you can try and soak if you so wish. Look at that. I'm good. Fit is made of tough stuff. All right. Narvar, you need to break that shaken. Right Spirit. idea. All right. Attribute spirit. Right now, it is a failure. If you spend a Benny... It, I um, have no Bennies, oh, right? you have no Benny. So you stay shaken, which means you can only move and take free actions. Eh. I'll take a free action, then the glare and flip him the bird. Okay. All right. That takes us to Spike. Man, look at all these people in a doorway. Right? However, when you get to there... You've only got light cover against either of those. There's only one person in the doorway. <sighs> I mean, I take up the space of two people, so not <laughs> far off. <laughs> uh, did I have enough movement to go inside to the right? Um, Let's see, I started here. Three. No. Okay. So, whoops. I don't know. What you going to do? I'll just shoot him. What's that? I'll shoot him with my little spike here. Throwing another bolt? Putting yeah, extra power I'll into just... it? No, I'll just leave it regularly. Look at that.
and uh, you drop him. Woo. One orc remains, and it is Bash's turn. Whoops. All right. Bash is going to gonna bash him. Shield bash him, even. Step right up, and we're going to go for a triple swing. Three swings. Yep. So minus four on the better rolls modifiers. Only minus three, because they're orcs. Oh. First one is a hit. No, I guess I didn't take that into effect. Oops. It only needed one. Yep. He goes down and the combat ends. And Ooh. as he falls, we will pick up there next time. Oh, good. I need to catch my breath. <laughs> <laughs> Probably right. going to be hard to catch with one arm. Yep. Oh. You are, le you are mm. less dead than you thought. And suddenly more effective with just a shield. Yeah. Right? I think your buddy did. <laughs> I'm, I'm only dead on the outside. <laughs> and, and a little short on breath. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little short on a lot of things. All right. So oh, hope everybody enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Have a great one. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.